Cryptocurrencies are super important to the modern digital economy. You don't have to take my word for it, just look at this graph. It depicts some stats on Ethereum, the second most popular cryptocurrency by various metrics. Judging by the amount of value locked on Ethereum and by the volume of transactions processed by Ethereum each day, you can say it's pretty important to the modern economy. Because of the importance of cryptocurrencies, they better be secure. Otherwise, we jeopardize all the funds processed by them. Unfortunately, we see that cryptocurrencies have a habit of being under attack. Furthermore, cryptocurrencies better be efficient, meaning that people shouldn't have to spend too much money in order to use them. Unfortunately, we see that quite frequently, cryptocurrencies become congested, and in times of congestion, it becomes expensive to use them. Luckily for us, a whole science was created to make sure that cryptocurrencies are both secure and efficient, the science of blockchains. Unfortunately, previous works have considered slightly impractical settings. Although they're quite important and have laid the ground for future work. So what do I mean by that? Some previous works have considered security threats which were never observed in the wild. Others have considered that cryptocurrency agents, meaning the people that use and operate cryptocurrencies, are myopic. So they only care about the short term and do not plan for the future. But we know that some agents, at least some of the time, are non-myopic. Furthermore, some works have only considered very specific cases. In my work, I try to consider more practical settings. For example, I analyze realistic, feasible threats. And to demonstrate the practicality of these threats, the threats that I analyze, I also show the first evidence of an in-the-wild attack against a major cryptocurrency consensus mechanism. Furthermore, I also extend the settings considered by previous works. For example, I analyze non-myopic agents and I generalize some of the previous specific cases that were considered. For all that and more, I encourage you to check my paper out. Thank you.